Hey guys, I wanted to share a website project that I did for a local basement waterproofing company. Um, this was for basement water control. They're uh, a basement contractor in St. Cloud, Minnesota here locally. And I wanted to share a website that I built for them. So we can see here, this is the old website. Um, it was previously built on WordPress and it was generating leads. Um, they were looking for uh, someone to come in and uh, kind of take care of the website. We talked it through, decided it was time for a redesign. It just looked old, it looked outdated. Um, the colors were bland. It didn't have any custom iconography. Um, you know, it, it just looked like a generic basement waterproofing company's website, which is fine. It was generating some leads, but I thought we could do better. And I think they thought that they could do better as well. Um, the website wasn't very mobile responsive. Um, you can't really see it right here, but oh, okay, you can see it. So you can see that like the nav bar kind of like overlaps with uh, the logo and there wasn't, I guess there wasn't even really a logo there. It overlaps the the uh, the text there. It doesn't even work 100% of the time. I believe there was some images. I, I, they're not showing up here, but they're just, you know, some generic images of them working. Again, they looked kind of old and outdated. Um, and it's just kind of a, a generic basement waterproofing company's website. So what we did was we decided it was time for redesign. We redesigned it, um, built it in Webflow, and the website has been performing very, very well. Um, it's a it's a seasonal business. They're generally very busy in the spring and summer, and then it slows down in the fall and the winter. Um, so this spring season, it has been breaking records for uh, the amount of leads that they've received on their website over the last 10 years. They've been in business since the 60s, but we only have stats of their website back to about 2012, 14 ish. And over that period, we have broken each of the last two months have broken records for the most amount of leads that have come through the website. So let's just kind of walk through um, the new website. First of all, it needs two things. It needs to be clear and concise. It needs to explain what they do, which it does, Minnesota Basement Waterproofing. There's no question about what it is they do. The second thing it needs is it needs an emotional trigger. It, it needs emotional triggers to be able to get at the pain points that their customers are seeing. And we can do that in lots of different ways. One of them is copywriting. Oftentimes homeowners are worried that they're gonna have to pay a lot to have their um, basement fixed, but that it's not gonna be fixed for good. It's not gonna, it's gonna come back in the future. And I think that's what a lot of homeowners are worried about. So we went right off the bat, said, hey, keep water out of your basement for good. That clears any objections that any customers have that these issues are gonna come back in the future. We guarantee that these are going to be fixed for good. Again, we're clearing any objections. Um, we've got some custom imagery. So we've got the homeowner kind of pulling your hair out. This is what they're feeling. This is gonna resonate with customers. All I can say is that it's been performing very well. Um, and it obviously is resonating with customers. Um, we've got this 3D uh, render behind the image. Um, and I, I, I made this in Blender, it's a 3D render of a house, and then I added a water simulation to show the water kind of spurting out of the, the windows. Again, this is to create that emotional reaction from customers. This is what they feel. They feel like water is just leaking out of their house and, and it's frustrating for them, so they want someone to be able to come in and help them. Um, another thing that I'll just briefly mention here in the hero section is the calls to action. Notice how nothing in the hero section is orange, except for these bright orange buttons. The reason why is because I want people to click them. I want them to pop out at people. And if they're gonna click anything, it should be these buttons. Um, we've got this nice little interaction. You can see the, the homeowner kind of sinks under the, uh, the water that's like, you know, pulling her under. Um, we've got an about us section. Um, again, the homepage is kind of to link out to all the rest of the pages. It's to create a call to action if people are ready to hire. And if they're not ready to hire, they can find whatever information they need really, really quickly. So we've got an about us section. We've got these trusty badges, um, A rated, A plus rated, stable lock certified to kind of uh, reassure customers that they're professional, that they've been at this a while. They've been at it since 1967. Um, you can click to the about us page we have a meet the team page if you click the meet the team it'll go directly to their team profiles which in my opinion i think more websites need people want to know who are coming into their houses um, it's a relationship business especially for local businesses um, scroll down a little bit we've got services 
um, again, this is this is really important to show all the services that this local contract company offers. We have heat maps on the website and we um, I'm also doing SEO for the company. Um, so it wasn't just the, the website, but I'm, I'm doing SEO. And as part of the SEO, I have heat maps installed to see where people are clicking on the site. And we've noticed that once we got this services section up on the website, people wanted to click these services to see exactly not just waterproofing, but what kind of waterproofing do you do drain tile do you do baseboards do you do foundation repair and now people can see we do all that and then you can see the actual service page so if you click one of them it takes them to a deeper service page where it goes more in depth with the service that they offer so we've got eight of them dry up baseboards, sump pup install um, egress window install um crawl space repair, repair, that sort of thing. Um, and then we've also, again, we got some 3D renders. I, I This was a, 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 no other basement waterproofing company has custom 3D icons on their website. If you go to any other basement contractor website, they're not going to have these. And I think this is just one way that we can stick up above the rest of them. This basement waterproofing company is different. And when you think of it, I want them to think of all of these different colors and these different themes, and it should create good thoughts and happy feelings because it, it makes it look like they're more professional. It makes it look like they're clean and concise because these are, you know, clean and concise 3D renders and illustrations. So, um, yeah, it's just like uh, it, it's a way to make them stand out when there are so many basement waterproofing, so many contract companies and it makes them stand out and makes them look different. So people think of them over their competitors. This is another thing I like to do. I like to do a step one, step two, step three, sometimes step four. And it just kind of simplifies the process. People are wondering what is actually gonna happen when I call this contract business? And we show them like, hey, this is exactly what's gonna happen. We're gonna get an estimate. We're gonna complete the work. We're gonna clean up. And then we're gonna have a dry basement. You're gonna have a dry basement forever, guaranteed. And I think that just simplifies the process, which is sometimes can seem complicated. This one actually was kind of fun to make because if you look at it on a mobile device, it's kind of got this scrolly interaction thing. So if you wanna see more about it, you can, you can scroll over to the right. If not, it doesn't take up a bunch of screen space so you can keep scrolling down. I thought that was kind of fun to make. And then we've also got a blog. We've been doing SEO for them for um, a while now and the SEO has been working. Lots and lots of blog articles. Um, a few other things I want to showcase about the website are one, the service area pages. These have been big. Um, they don't receive hundreds and hundreds of clicks, but when they do receive clicks, they're very high converting. So you can see uh, we show the services that they area just in a map. And then if you want to go down and see the individual service page. So say someone in Big Lake was like, OK, does this person serve me? They click Big Lake. And they can see, oh, okay, they've got a custom big lake service area page. And they can kind of just look through it, just, you know, make sure, oh, okay, they serve my area and it looks more legit. Um, and these are also good for SEO. If someone in, uh, say, like Alexandria, Minnesota, searches for Alexandria Basement Waterproofing Company, the, these, uh, the Alexandria service area page is more likely to show up for Alexandria than the home page of this website because it's more specialized for those keywords. The one thing that I think people need to spend more time on is your contact us page. Um, so this might not seem like anything special, but there's a few things that we're doing here that really, I think, have made a huge difference in converting. So one, we've got the information on the right side, right? It's the information they told me, hey, I want this information from the client to know that if they're a legit lead um, or if like, you know, we can send them to someone else or that sort of thing. But on the left side is really what I want to point out. One, it's an image of the person that they are going to talk to if they call. This is so big. People want to know who they're talking to. Am I, am I going to call and get like a robot on the phone? Am I going to call and get an answering machine? No. If you call, you are going to get Lynn or Kevin to answer the phone or whoever's in the office that day. We've got office hours so they don't call and they're like, you know, it's 6 p.m. on a Thursday and like, why didn't they answer? Well, the office hours are 8 to 4.30. That way they know, hey, I can't call out of office hours. Um, and then also another thing, we have a quote. We have a quote from the owners to make it more personable and again, more approachable. We want people to feel comfortable. So I'm gonna stop there. I could probably keep going on and on. Honestly, 
I get so excited when I see leads coming in for their business. I get more excited when I see leads for them than I do when I see leads coming in for my business. I, I love helping out my clients. I love seeing them have success. It takes time. It took us time to get here. We designed this page, uh, this website back l about a year ago. I think it published almost exactly a year ago. And it took a while for the, the website to build up that authority again. We had to do 301 redirects. We didn't lose traffic, but it took a while to start gaining traction with the, the new website. And um, yeah, I mean, patience is key here, but we've waited it out and we are really seeing the benefits this year. They are probably flooded in more than one ways right now with leads and also um, in basement. So um, I'm just really glad that I was able to help them out. And I hope this helps anyone else out who's listening. If you need a website built, I'm always here. Or if you're building websites for your clients, I hope some of this advice helps. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.